Hey everyone, this is PA in the AM, and I'm coming to you from Carlsbad, California with an update. So I'm a physician assistant. I've been working for the last 10 years in head and neck surgery. So today I'm going to discuss 10 easy steps on how to keep your kitchen clean. For step number two, you want to clear the kitchen stove area and put all the leftovers into containers into the fridge and the pots and pans into the dish zone. For the next few steps, it's important to designate a few areas on the kitchen counter. One is for a spot for things that will go into the fridge. One is for a spot for things that will go into the pantry. And another is for dirty dishes. Now it's time to put everything back into the fridge at the same time. Now put everything that needs to go back into the pantry away. I'm gonna go over with you my method for trying to do dishes. So I've already done dishes for the past 30 minutes and I'm still not done. And so um, my dishwasher is pretty much completely full and I um, have a method for the madness. Here is the dishes from probably the last couple of meals and this is the most important thing for me is to keep a cup all the time in the sink and you're going to put your utensils in there and that you can just throw in the dishwasher when it's open again and then um, I like to be sure to just stack all of the plates and everything together and then I have this special thing where the forks and knives and everything stays up put all the cups on the top and my dryer rack I have is completely full and I put everything that can has to be hand washed in here and so once all of this is dry I'll finish all this up and now we have jujitsu um, my instapot is used every single day and so this is from a pot of beans I just made and so now I'm just gonna let that soak and then while all this is going on I usually try to do something that needs to soak, like whether it's beans that need to soak or if I need to wash the fruit and veggies. Um, but I also like to have a bowl that I keep that has a little bit of soap in it. And then it's kind of like conserving water, conserving soap. And dip it in and just clean. And then I dry the Instapot right away um, and put it away because this takes up a ton of space and make sure to wash the lid too. Step number nine is to sweep, mop, and or vacuum. And just make sure you are being entertained while you're doing this, whether you're listening to an audiobook or you have your favorite playlist playing, just that'll make the time go by quick. Now it's time to put the kids to work. They gotta earn their keep. So the final step is to take out the trash and you're all done. Since it's Favorites Friday, I want to feature a couple of our favorite local businesses. And this first one is called Local Roots, where they brew kombucha. It's a 
we're a local San Diego based company. Uh, we're not certified organic, but we use mainly certified organic ingredients. Um, and then we ethically source everything. Uh, when something's not in season, like our watermelon, we discontinue it. Um, a lot of people have been wanting that back. So uh, we use everything resourcefully. Great, yep. thank you yeah. so much. So what do you recommend? We got strawberry mojito and purple haze last time. Do you like ginger? Not really, no. Okay, so the, all of them have ginger except the strawberry mojito. Okay. Um, the Buchmosa is orange turmeric and ginger. I feel like the ginger is lighter on that. Okay. And then the purple haze is blueberry and ginger. Um, Cali Mule is mainly ginger, so you probably wouldn't like that if you don't. My, like actually, my husband does like Cali Mule, so I'll get a yeah. a four pack of yeah, that. It's inspired by the Moscow Mule, so it's very similar. Yeah, and then I already. The Buchmosa you said is gingery? Or no? Say it again? The Buchmosa is gingery as well? Okay, I'll well, get orange, turmeric, and ginger, so it resembles a mimosa. I think I'll go ahead with the strawberry mojito. I know I really like that one. And then for my kids, what did we get? Uh, I'll get the strawberry mint. Strawberry mint. Awesome. And then we just started doing growler refills yesterday, so if oh. you have a growler, you can bring up. Dang it, I didn't bring it. Okay, I thought that was it. That, I'm glad I know that now yeah, for next week. Yeah, so our Booch Coins are our loyalty program. So you get a point for every $10 you spend here in the tasting room. And then you add up the points and you end up getting free merch like growlers, t-shirts, hats, sweatshirts. Awesome, thank yep. you so much. Absolutely. So, ooh, we got all of our stuff, yay. Good shirts. Those are so cute. And then, so there, those are 10 and then 15 are all the other shirts. And how much is the sweater? Sweatshirts are 30. And the hats? 15. Okay, six feet high. And they're closing right now. Yeah, I made it with one minute to spare. Yeah, a chili. Chili. Oh my gosh. And guess what? They have curbside, five dollar margaritas, three dollar beers, ten dollar six packs. Which would you like? In the back. In the bed. Yeah. You want me to unlock it, or are you okay with opening it? I'll get you a drink. I love you. Are you guys excited for chilies? Yeah, we have a hint. All right, Jeremy hooked it up. So we got us two chips and salsas, two kids' mac and cheese, two kids' beverage, strawberry um, lemonade, a Santa Fe chicken salad for the hubby. We're dropping up at his work, and uh, a bowl of chicken enchilada soup to go, President Margarita for a grand total of $46 plus tip. Jeremy, you're the best. Yeah. Okay, so we're going Thanks, Jeremy. Bye. Have a good day. So the last thing I wanted to discuss was some good news. In order for me to go back to work, I need a third negative COVID-19 swap. I just realized why so many people are in line to get swabbed because all of the surgeries, they're starting to do elective procedures and surgeries now. I know. I know. And so um, all these kids that have been waiting to get their surgeries done, now they're able to get them done, but they have to have a negative COVID-19 test um, at least 24 hours before, I think it's 24 to 40 hours before their procedure. So long nine. Okay. Um, have you had one done yet? Yeah, you did it last. Did I? Two weeks ago. Oh. I know. Sorry. And I did the research project, so this is my third swab. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's all good. Yours actually is way better. The Q tip is way smaller than the other okay, one. I heard they're 3D printing and they're like holding people. Oh my gosh. This is horrible. Okay, you ready? Yep. Hopefully, last one. It's going to go on the side, okay? Nice small circles until I get there. That's beautiful. You're almost done, okay? Okay. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. So same job. Everyone's get needing them like 48 hours before their procedures. So that's why there's such a long line now. Okay. Thank you for all that you do. Take care. And 
I have my results of my coronavirus and it was negative and I'm so blessed. That well, I'm glad I was able to give you some good news today for me anyways. Um, I hope you and your family are all healthy and happy and tune in on Friday. This is PA in the AM signing off. Have a great day.